So I'm going to do a review of an endoscope or a borescope uh, you can get from uh, from eBay or Amazon or Wish or one of those places. Um, this one is a uh, well, it's a uh, about 15 euros, and uh, these things are incredibly cheap. Uh, this one comes with a an eight millimeter camera. So on the very front there, this camera from top to bottom is eight millimeters, uh, eight millimeters wide. Um, with a five meter lead, which is quite long and uh, certainly enough for any job, I think. So, a five millimeter or a five meter lead and an eight millimeter body. Uh, the reason why I picked that one is because it has lots of LEDs, about six around in a circle, and um, it has a, a bigger resolution camera. So, this camera reads uh, up to about like, two megapixels um, or 1280p, which is uh, really good and you can get much smaller ones that do a, a lower resolution um, but I wanted a kind of bigger one uh, for the bigger resolution um, I don't see why you wouldn't buy one um, based on resolution I don't know um, on the other end of it then is uh, is this which is the connection part to your Android device or your tablet or even to your yeah, it's a full USB so onto your laptop even so you can connect to either or really a laptop or a, an Apple device, perhaps, or an Android device, anyway. Um, yeah, so what does it do? It's an endoscope, a borescope, and it, uh, if you lose your keys in a drain or something, you can use this thing to, to find them, to fish them out. Or if you lose cash down the back of your couch, uh, you can use it to also fish these things out. What am I going to use it for? I don't know. Um, we'll probably have a look at something it can be used for. Um, I'm going to attach it to my mobile phone and you can then look at the screen behind me and see what's uh, casting onto the screen. So it says on the screen here, uh, I'm pressing on the screen for uh, endoscope on the software it uh, recommends to use. Desptech, D-E-P-S-T-E-C-H. I'll leave a link at the bottom. Um, what I've done is, oh look, it says use default. Okay. Okay. So on the screen behind me, you can probably see what it sees. Uh, this is the picture. That's my couch. Uh, I'm looking back, let's see, the camera maybe. Oh, there's the camera I'm filming on. So it's got a pretty good picture. Um, you can probably get a better look, maybe on my actual phone. Uh, or maybe you can't. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but maybe the, the TV's a better job uh, for these kind of videos. So I'm looking back at my camera. I put some tape on top of the on top of the borescope so it'll give you the orientation because you can be looking sideways or you know something and it'll look obscure or uh, undefinable so I have a little piece of tape on top of the top of the scope uh, and the camera then uh, you can see has a ring of LEDs about six of them and uh, as I say it films in 1280p because this one is the 8 millimeter unit now on the phone itself it has uh, this attachment and on the attachment you can see it has a button. What the button do? Well we'll press the button and we'll see what happens to the LEDs. Yes they become brighter. Uh, so it's brighter or off, on, brighter again, brighter again and then off. A really handy button to have so you haven't got to feel, you know, feel around for um, different settings on the phone uh, which you can use. So there's a settings part uh, there we go, orientation. There's a settings part on the actual software which lets you change things like the uh, LED brightness, but that's fine for me. I'll use the button. Uh, what's it come with? It comes with, uh, well, let's see. It comes with these small hooks on the camera. So uh, if you're using it to find objects, you can uh, attach small hooks to it. Uh, and these hooks are like so. The hooks are, I look a bit like this. This one here is actually uh, contains, can I get a picture of that? Contains a small bit of wire, I'm not focusing, a small bit of wire uh, wrapped around a magnet. So if your keys fall down a drain, this part here hooks onto your uh, bore scope, and then this part here finds or, or connects onto the keys magnetically. So it's a magnet um, on this end. Uh, the one I'm up using is this one here, which is a long hook. 
Uh, so that long hook there hooks onto uh, the body of the camera and I'll show you how that works in a second. And then this clip, can we get a picture of the clip? It's a round clip that holds the hook onto the camera body. Very good. And I'll show you how that works in a second. It does come with this other part which is a 45 degree angle mirror. So no matter which way you lose things, down drains or behind couches, you'll be able to retrieve them uh, by using either the mirror to see where it is or else just uh, by looking with the, with the camera. So an option then for looking around corners or tight spaces. Um, an interesting device. And what I'll do is I'll just pop on the uh, hook or the, the camera hook uh, for finding, let's say, uh, keys or lost objects. And you'll see maybe, maybe on the body of the camera there's little small holes um, for the hook, the hook to attach onto. Yeah, just like so. Can I get a picture of that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm seeing something maybe uh, on this part here. And then what we do, we first put on our clip, which goes over the body. And then we put on our hook which is like so. So I'm fiddly with these things. But our hook hooks onto a small hole on the body and then this clip comes over the top. That secures it in place. So whatever it is you're picking up uh, kind of won't fall off the camera. There we go. Tiny long hook. And there's the, the backdrop for it. That's what it's looking at. So we can use this thing to find objects that are hidden uh, in spaces that are very dark or with drains or something or as I say the back of the couch uh, a very handy thing it focuses fairly well uh, far away so you can see objects like the camera there or maybe the couch or something over here um, so it's got good focus from far away it's good focus up to about well, the length of the hook so um, if you're looking for something too close to the camera, it won't focus, which is one of the things to remember. Um, so I'm looking down at the table. Perhaps we can see something on the monitor behind me, maybe. Oh yes, that's our little tiny mirror. And I can pick it up with the hook and put it on the end of the... <laughs> and now I can fish it out of the drain. Um, it's on the end of my hook, and I know what it is. Um, so a very good little device. And uh, it does seem to work, which is the uh, the best part. Some of these goods uh, you might get in the post for very cheap deals don't generally work. These units start at about ten euros or less, and um, this one's fourteen euros. Um, the little drivers for it are from DevTech. Um, let's see the way it focuses now. I'm going to show you a cardboard box or something. There's uh, some text, so you can kind of see its uh, its focus. Yeah, very good. And what am I going to use it for? Well, I don't know. Um, I, I, I'm trying to think of, of something you could use a, a bore scope for, or a, you know, small space, or, or I, I don't know. What would you use one for? I haven't. I don't. Oh wait, I just thought of something, and uh, I'm afraid of spiders. So <laughs> what I'm going to use it for is to look inside my shoes in case there's spiders in them. Yes, and here's my shoe, and uh, I'm going to use a small bore scope to look inside. And make sure there are no spiders in my shoe. Are there spiders in my shoe? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's a wrap with this video. Um, I'll leave a description at the end for where you can get it from, from Amazon or eBay, and uh, the little drivers from DeskTech um, you use for controlling the video. Uh, a neat little device. And uh, I'm going to maybe do some more reviews. Good luck. Goodbye.